Chris, what was your thoughts on how your team approached this one, um, leading with their defense and holding Dallas under 100? Um, defense was really good in the second half. First half was not so much. You know, it kind of looked like we were like stuck in the mud a little bit out there, like a little heavy legged. You know, kind of a typical game when you get back from a long road trip. Um, you know, guys were just trying to find it, uh, rhythm, offense, rhythm, defense. So um, they did a really good job of kind of digging in and and find it in the second half. So was it kind of an approach of anyone but Hardaway tonight for you guys? Yeah, I mean, we just we wanted to make sure that you know we took their shooters out as best we could. You know, like we we experienced the last time we played them, how how they you know we got up big and they came back getting hot from the three point line. So. Um, you know, guys did a good job of battling through screens, and the bigs were up to challenge the the, the shooting uh, shooting guy players coming off the the action. So I thought that was you know key for us. A lot of games, obviously, in the regular season. How much time and effort goes into having pretty detailed defensive game plans on a nightly basis? A lot, you know, um, especially with the way that we're built. You know, every day we have to kind of think about how we're going to approach this with matchups and coverages and stuff like that. Um, you know, our staff does an amazing job of like really kind of coming to the meeting in the morning, being super creative when they need to be, but also not straying too far away from our foundation, which is also important. Um, but yeah, there's a lot that goes into it. Um, you know, we, we you know a lot of teams maybe are kind of roll out the same defense every night, but we're not kind of built that way, so we got to. We got to really kind of pick out certain points of emphasis that we have to kind of focus on. So, is it nice to have the chess pieces you guys have as well? You know, yeah. Like, it, I mean, it's possible. great to have multiple defenders that can guard these. You know, these guys. You have guys that are really good guarding chase guys. You have guys really good guarding penetrating guys. You have guys that are guarding good at guarding pick and roll. Um, you know, then you have to have really good off ball defenders. So, we do have a lot of like flexibility with that. So, it is a luxury for us. She had real trouble making shots in the first half. Yeah. Does Cat's efficiency really kind yeah. of keep you afloat there while, while you're looking yeah. for it? Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, then the two big threes, I think, before the halftime gave us just enough breathing room to kind of catch our breath. Um, then, you know, he continued with a big third. But uh, for sure, yeah, no doubt about it. So Then to see Nas knock a few down, even in, if it the – it was already in doubt. Does it just yeah. have to kind of see that happen to kind of get on the roll again? Absolutely. I, you know, we need him to get back playing with uh, the way he had been, has been playing most of the season. I can't why I left him out there was so he can see the ball go in a couple times. So. Chris, you talked back in training camp about how big of a point of emphasis transition defense was and, and keeping teams out of transition offense. Yeah. Uh, you, one of the lowest frequencies in transition offense against you. What's kind of gone into being able to be a good transition team or keeping teams out of transition? I mean, it starts with effort, first and foremost. I mean, we just have, you know, we have to make more effort, being a little bit more on balance. Um, you, when, you know, when the shot goes up, better spacing, uh, understanding where our transition threats are coming from. We actually, you know, sometimes send guys back more often than not. Um, but I also think it's really important when you have guys like Rudy and Cat and, you know, Jaden now. We want these guys to go to the offensive glass, Nas, and that forces teams to stay in and try to box us out too. Um, when Rudy goes to, goes to the glass, oftentimes they'll put two guys on him, and that, you know, that, that creates an advantage for us. So even if we don't get the ball, um, so that's been a big point of emphasis. You know, we we don't feel like you got to choose whether you go to the glass or you get back. We we want to be able to do both, and I think the way the way we are built, um, it helps us immensely to go to the glass. And tonight, only only nine points. We've seen some of these games previously this season where you know, kind of if things are are going well for other guys, teams on a roll. You know, in the second half, he's not really trying to force anything for yeah. to look for his own shot. I guess for him, is is this a is this different for him this year? Do you, do you feel like it in, on nights like this when he's not trying to really force yeah, it I to mean, get his points? I was trying to get him the ball, get him going. You know, I know they were, you know, uh, trying to put two on him as much as they possibly could, and he did a good job of getting off of it, making good plays for his teammates. I thought he did it right in the beginning. We got a lot of really good looks in the beginning of the game, um, and yeah, for sure. It's just, you know, but he has to also continue to stay aggressive and find a different, you know, different opportunities within the flow of the game. Um, you know, maybe some in transition, maybe cut, you know, more catch and shoots, kind of 
that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, no, he did a really good job of not forcing anything into the teeth of their defense. All-star announcements are tomorrow. Uh, team has been kind of promoting Ant, Cat, Rudy. Uh, do you feel like you have three All-Stars on this team? And are yeah, we definitely have. There, I feel with uh, you know Rudy's um, defense, you know, anchoring the number one defense in the league, playing at a high level, uh, has had a major offensive impact too. You know, Cat's uh, f you know 40, 50, 90, and you know Ant's playing at. Just, uh, uh, definitely is playing at all-star level. I think we have three all-star level players for sure. You know, um, hope that we were we are able to be recognized for the work that they've done. Um, but we'll see. You, know. Coach. How did you feel about uh, Mike and his return tonight, and kind of you know meshing with the team, getting more comfortable as the night went on, especially on the offensive end? Yeah, I mean this looked like a, a very typical Mike Connolly game. Um, did a great job running the show, communicating with all the guys, uh, keeping us well organized, and then hitting big shots in the fourth, you know, to put some separation in the game. Um, and it was good to see, you know, good to see him back out there. And, you know, we've been in this situation up 13 to start the fourth a number of times in the last few games, a uh, few weeks rather, and, you know, we've, we've, we've not been able to manage our way through it. And, you know, having Mike back is key to that, so. Um, all right, uh, Dallas obviously didn't play with, you know, two of their yeah. bigger guys, better guys this game. How important is it to uh, try to get the little things right in games like this and uh, against, you know, lowlier opponents, you know, but, so to say? You know, one thing, one thing you got to preach when you're, you know, coach, you got to play with your standard regardless of who the opponent is. Um, you know, defensively, we didn't do that much in the first half. I thought we were... Just a little slow, but we picked it up in the second half just enough um, to be able to impose ourselves on the game. Um, and uh, yeah, so all credit to those guys. But yeah, you know, you want you can't pick up sloppy habits when when um, you know the game feels or seems like it's going to come easy. Those are the things where where we've been trying to avoid. You know, some of the immaturity at times that we've had. Um, so it was a good test to keep building a lead once we got a lead today. To me, the past couple of weeks, Cat's been really decisive off the catch. How do you evaluate how he's playing off the catch, and how is that impacting his success? Yeah, I think it's key, key for everything. The holding is down. Um, the catch and shoots are up, which is what we really need uh, more of. I think that sets up, a, you know, a cleaner drive for him a lot of times. Um, and uh, yeah, and even in, in the post, I think he's, his, his decision making down there has been pretty decisive and pretty quick you know just goes quickly gets to a simple shot um, and uh, yeah I think it's it's made all the difference for us coach how important would it be for you to be the all-star West coach yeah it'd be a heck of an honor for sure uh, for myself for the organization um, you know but uh, you know it also be just like any other individual th uh, accolade it's a reflection of the success the team's having which is the most important thing right now um, you know, we've got a couple more games to go before the, that's all decided, I believe. Um, and that's what's most important in a really tight race is that we win those games. And the, everything that comes that, with that is, is a bonus. So, thanks. Thank you.